So we have the next lecture of Inclines Line Diagram. We have seen the rolling loads now. Now we are going to see the rolling UDL. There could be cases like uh, if you can think of uh, army tank. When an army tank moves on a road, it's not uh, only load in that. It has a complete uniform distribution of the load. So in that case, that type of loading is actually a UDL like this. And uh, this is the same problem in which it is said that there is a, there is a 60 kN per meter UDL moving on a span of 5 meter on a girder of 16 meter. Now, this is your girder. They are asking to find the shear force at D. So, um, let me just point out at D. So, at any distance D, which is at a distance of 6 meters, 6 meter and 10 meter, it is asked to find the shear force at this location. So, the positive, uh, maximum positive shear force. To identify the maximum positive shear force, uh, if, you, if you recall the previous lectures on influence line diagram, we have seen that the ILD is something like this. Sorry, ILD for shear force ID is something like this and like this. So, this is A by L and this is B by L. So, this is negative and this is positive. So, he is asking us the positive shear force. If the shear force has to be positive, let me just erase this here and write it here. The UDL should be completely on the positive portion. So, this is 10 meters and this is 6 meter. The UDL is of 5 meter length. So, you need this much portion. Right? So, how do you calculate it is very easy actually. So, just uh, let me write down this value. This is B by L. So, if this is 6 and 10, your B value is 10. So, 10 by 16 gives you a value of uh, 0.625. So, you know this value. You need this value also. How do you find out this value is actually, you can, you can, you can just do it by interpolation, this value. For you, this value is 5 meter and the total span is 10 meter. So what will be this ordinate? I can write as 0.625 divided by the total span is 10 is equal to x divided by the total span is 5. So if you solve this, you get 0.625 by 10 into 5 as 0.3125. Right? So how do you get the value of maximum positive shear force? You take the average of this ordinate and this ordinate that is 1 by 2.625 plus 0.3125 and multiply it by the span 5 into the intensity of loading 60 kN per meter. So this gives you a value of by 2 into 5 into 60 that gives you a value of 140.63 kN. So if this is your value, this is your positive shear force. Very easy. Let's see the next problem also in which there is maximum negative shear force asked. So, how is the influence line diagram again for shear force at D? It's just like this. Now, what is your negative shear force? It is like this. Easy? Now, how you put the loading this time? You put the loading here. Please take care that full UDL is accommodated in this portion. Luckily, here it's 6 meter and this is 5 meter. So, I can accommodate full this here in the portion of 6 meter. Suppose, if the UDL crosses the portion, then you will consider only that much UDL which is Suppose this unit is of 10 meter, you will take only 6 meter. Okay, so like that you have to do. Then it's easy again, you have to calculate this ordinate. You know this is A by L. What is A here? It is 6. 6 by 16 is the ordinate, and uh, you will just do it like this. So, again, what is your ordinate here? So that is uh, just let me put it in decimals. 6 by 16 is actually 0.375. So your value is 0.375 divided by 6 is equal to x divided by 1. So divided by 6 gives you 0.06. So what is the maximum negative shear force? 1 by 2 into 0.0625 plus 0.375 into intensity of loading is 60 multiplied by span is 5. So 0.0625 plus 0.375 by 2 into 60 into 5 gives you a value of 65.63 kN. So that's your negative shear force and this is your positive shear force. So that completes two topic. Let's see the last one that is maximum bending moment. Now the maximum bending moment in this case is 
as at d again maximum bending moment at d okay before i answer this question let me ask you something what will be if i say what is the maximum bending moment absolute maximum in case of absolute maximum bending moment you will just keep the udl at the center right so that will give you maximum bending moment however in case of a location is asked in that case i will show you the procedure to do but if it is the absolute maximum bending just put the udl at the center and continue with the normal procedure so if it is at d what you will do is let me just put the udl here now we don't know how much uh, it should project whether it should be equal or whether it should be different so for that what we do is let this be x distance if this is x what will be this l minus x okay let me put it 5 minus x because the whole span of udl is 5 meter right so this is 60 kN per meter and the whole udl is of 5 meter so i'm writing x and this is 5 minus x right now what is this distance 6 meter and what is this distance 10 meter so your interest is to find out what is the value of x here again you can use the proportion proportion thing x upon 6 is equal to 5 minus x upon 10 so 10x is equal to 6 into 5 minus x that is 10x is equal to 30 minus 6x or 30 is equal to i'm getting that 6 there becomes 4x is equal to 30 and x is 30 by 4 Two ones are um, just so you get the value of thirty by four. X is equal to seven point five meter. So what is this now? Again, I'll just make it again here. Uh, we just draw it again. Your value is at D. Your UDL is. Uh, this is five meter, na seven point five meter. It's three point one two five. Six and ten. Six and ten. Five minus x by six. So if you see this value, if you see this value, it's x by six and uh, x by ten years high. Because this will be x by ten and this will be five minus x divided by. Six. So just correct it. Uh, with this, you get six x is equal to fifty minus ten x, or you get sixteen x is equal to fifty. Your value is fifty by sixteen. That gives you three point one two five. So now this value is three point one two five, and that value is five minus three point one five. That is one point. Eight seven five. So after this, the procedure is again similar. You just take uh, the IRD for bending moment at D. Your IRD for bending moment at D will be like this, and you have to find out the ordinate. What is this ordinate? It's A B by L again. What is A again? Now here it is six meter, and this is ten meters. So AB by L will be six into ten by sixteen. Your value here is three point seven five. Now you have to find out this ordinate. This ordinate will be equal to three point seven five divided by six is equal to x upon so six minus three point one two five, right? So this is two point eight seven. So I'll just multiply three point seven five by six gives you one point seven nine. So this ordinate is one point seven nine. Similarly, that ordinate I can calculate is three point seven five divided by ten is equal to. So you have to take this is nine three point seven five divided by ten is equal to this ordinate x divided by this is nine. So ten minus one point eight seven five gives you eight point one two five. So this value is three point zero four. So how you calculate the maximum bending moment? Maximum bending moment will be equal to first you take the average of this portion, 1.79 plus 3.75 into what is the distance of the UDL in this? 3.125 into 60. This is this portion. Then you have to add plus 1 by 2 into 3.04 plus 3.75. 
into 1.875 into 60. So this is how you calculate the maximum bending moment for a UBL by taking average of this multiplying by distance into intensity and average of this multiplied by distance into intensity. Okay, and here you have to find out the x distance by taking x by 10 is equal to 5 minus x by 6. This gives you x distance, then this distance will be the remaining 5 minus x. And you kept keep it on the beam and solve it for the final maximum bending moment. So this is how a rolling UDL can be solved by ILD. In the next lecture, we will see some more problems on ILD and then we will get to the ILD of trusses. Thank you.